Hi, today I'm going to do this look, which is a metallic eye and warm skin look. Everyone was requesting gold metallic eyes, bronze metallic eyes, so I thought I'd do this mixture, which is sort of goldy, bronzy, so you can see it's really sort of quite strong on the eyes, very warm on the skin. I am going to be using for the eyes mainly the Shumura Gold shade, which is fabulous. There's lots and lots of these sorts of shades on the market. A couple that I found which are almost identical is one by Clarins. Also by Cargo, I found one in this kit which is very, very similar indeed, the one at the centre there. And another great kit is this bronze palette by Maybelline. It's got a fabulous bronze in here, but I'm also going to be using this dark, this really sort of blacky, bronzy shade. So I've used that to really shade and define everything. So to begin with, I'm just going to use a, it's a concealer brush, a Sephora concealer brush, but it's really good for laying colour down flat. And I'm going to use it damp. So I'm just going to spray the brush. I'm not going to really soak it, but just by getting it a little bit damp, it just means that you can um, pick up a lot more of the product and with metallics when the brush is damp you'll see that it just brings all the pearl really to the forefront and gives it an even more metallic-y shine. So I'm just going to start laying the bronze down. I just want to get it on really dramatic like molten metal. Most good quality eyeshadows you can use with a slightly damp brush. It's only when they're really cheap that they just start splitting when you wet them. And then just to finish off, pop some under there as well. You're probably going to blend most of it out later, but it gives you a good base to start to work. Because I'm going to do quite a smoky bronze eye and then do the same on the other eye. Now next I'm going to use quite a dark bronze, a blacky pigmenty bronze and it's one from the Maybelline bronze palette, the bronze drama palette. But I'm going to use a Paula Dorf brush here, the eye contour brush and just start pressing some of this into the outer corner there. Now I'm going to use the smoke lid Paula Dorf brush with exactly the same colour, so this dark blacky bronze colour. I'm going to start just smoking underneath, about two thirds of the way along. Now using a MAC 217 with a tiny bit of the darker shade on, but not much, I'm going to start to just soften that crease and bring it in a little bit further. I'm also going to extend it out slightly and join it up with underneath before I pencil. And just make sure you keep everything quite soft and well blended into each other. Okay, for my base today, I am going to use Nude Skin by Dior. I've used this one before, it's 022. And I'm gonna use a buffing brush for a change. I'm gonna use this big, fat, fluffy brush, which is a goat brush by Shumura, and it's number 18. And I'm just gonna add onto my chin, and mainly down the center of my face to start with. So I've finished my base. Um, I've been using that foundation recently because it's very hydrating. At the moment my skin is really dehydrated, I've got no idea why. Um, but I do need a little bit of powder over that one because it gets a little bit dewy for me, although it's lovely. I've used um, just some MAC Mineralize Skin Finish over the top because I want it to sort of not too matte, to have a little bit of a sheen. Um, so, and I've also concealed as well. So on with the eyes. Next I'm going to use a bourgeois pencil which is colon contour and this is a bronze raffiné. I'm going to start just working this into the roots of the lashes. And I can just be quite messy with this. Work it into the roots and then bring it up quite thick so it doesn't really look like a line as such. Same underneath. Just work it into those lashes, about two thirds of the way along. So 
So that's a nice soft alternative, nice bronzy soft alternative to black. So I'm just going to give my eyelashes a curl with the Kevin O'Quan eyelash curlers. Now I'm going to use false lash effect because I want big fat black lashes, loads on at the roots. So I've done some mascara on the bottom lashes as well and some brown powder in my brows. I've tried to avoid the grey so I've gone very, it's Laura Mercier, it's an eyeshadow ground coffee. So very sort of chocolatey brown for the brows. Keep everything warm. Just fill them all in. Okay, next I'm going to use some bronzer. I'm going to use the number seven sculpting bronzer, which is out in May. I'm going to use the darker shade, the two darker shades to start with. with the MAC 110 brush. Let's take that off my hand. I'm going to use that just to sculpt. This is nice and matte, just to give a little bit of shape and also to warm my skin up a little bit. So just really softly blending that along the side of the temples and just under the cheekbone. Then I'm going to mix together all the shades here, so get some of the lighter shade as well and use that as a sort of bronzer just onto the cheeks, a little bit down the centre of the nose and again just to blend in those darker shades. So I haven't got any spark anywhere else on the face. I might just add a touch actually of a shimmery bronzer and this is the Lu Illuminating Bronzer by Bobbi Brown. So this is not good for sculpting but good if you want a little bit of shimmer. And because my eyes are quite shimmery and quite metallic I don't want too much elsewhere on the face because I think it, it just loses its sort of power if you end up shimmery everywhere. I'm just going to add that onto the high point of the cheekbones to give me a little bit of colour and also Just warm everything up and also give me a nice bit of illumination. Okay, now onto the lips, going to keep them really simple. I'm going to use a Body Shop Sheer, which is a sort of very natural bronzy colour, it hasn't got really much shimmer in it at all. Because it's sheer, I can just apply it straight from the bullet because I'll need to build it up a bit. I'm just going to follow the natural. So it's just taking all the red out of my lips and keeping them sort of nude but not too pale because I want everything to look quite warm. But because it hasn't got too much colour and also it's not too shimmery, it's making sure that the eyes are definitely still the main focus of the makeup. So just before I finish off, I'm just going to look straight into the mirror and any blending, take off any edges. You can use a Q-tip or you can just go in with your MAC 217 again. I just want to extend them out slightly. Now that the makeup's done, I can see what I can do there. Okay, so that's it. That is the bronzy, metallic, smoky eye. Key points are Lay your metallics on with a damp brush, it really makes a big difference and most eyeshadows apart from really really cheap shadows will go on well when the brush is damp and it just really brings that metallic gleam to the surface. Secondly, uh, mix your metallics with smoky colours so either really dark blacky bronzes, blacks, greys, all those sorts of colours. Use them to shape and define and also to, just to add more definition to your metallics. Keep everything soft, don't put everything metallic, don't go metallic cheeks, metallic eyes, metallic lips because it'll lose its power. Keep the rest of the face quite warm, quite soft, but definitely in the same sort of feeling, the same sort of um, warmth really. So I hope that was helpful and thanks for watching.